All right, it is day three. Uh, we swear. I swear we're not just swapping shirts. I'm just swapping shirts. Um, anyway, <laughs> so the last brews that our buddies over at Gaming Off The Grid sent to us, I have another Exile, and this is the Beatnik Sour, while you picked... I picked the Blonde Fatale, because I may not be a Blonde Fatale, but I am a Red Femme Fatale, and it's short, like me. <laughs> I kind of figured that's why it's you were going to go for that. It's just a cute little short, squatty bottle. I do like this, and the bottle itself has some, uh, some like, engraved Yeah, there's, like, leaves on, on it, and it says, Peace Tree Bre Brewing. It's really cute. Would you care to do the honors and read about it? <coughs> Our Belgian-style blonde ale will steal your heart as the unfiltered golden hue seduces your taste buds with surprising smoothness. It's a delicately hopped with Styrian Golding and Celia for medium aroma with a crisp and refreshing bite. The Belgian yeast adds hints of fruity complexity, but be warned, its mysterious charm will draw you in again and again. That made it sound that really, really good. Really good. <laughs> I enjoy some that's, fruity charms. That's definitely something With that's, my lucky charms! That's been really fun about the beers that they've sent us. Uh, all of the descriptions on the bottles of the cans have been just a lot of fun. Uh -huh. And it really does draw you into it. Ooh, that smells strong. Like right off the bat. Yeah, it does. Ooh, that's got a Ooh. good smell, though. All right. Let's see if this will give it any justice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, almost the whole thing. It's got a big head on that thing. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> For me, it smells like a very prominent beer smell. Like, like it's yeah, there's definitely. nothing masking it. It's very much a beer smell. But I'm also getting like a very sweet hint to it. Okay. So not bitter like the last couple of ones we've been tasting. Not like that bitter shower sour bite. Okay. I can definitely taste a lot of hops in there. It's kind of the wheat, I can really taste the wheat. It kind of does seem like a, a uh, like a bread, almost yes. grainy. There's yeah. almost like a grain, like like kind of when you eat like a like a grainy cereal or something that aftertaste. And there's there's a lingering note. I can't quite put my finger on it. That's, I like this. But one. there's something. It, it really kind of sticks, like on the back of my taste buds. Mm-hmm. That's good though. Yeah, I like this one. All right, well, I might as well jump right into mine. So again, the Exile Beatnik Sour, man! Beatnik! We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas! We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas! <laughs> Thanks, Flanders parents. <laughs> let it sit, let it be. Berliner style Weiss, can you, for you and me, can you dig? I'm having trouble reading it because I don't have the drums going. Boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom. By the way, this one is from Knoxville, Iowa. Of course, this one is the Exile Brewing Company, and it has... 5% alcohol by volume. I wonder why this one won't tell you what the volume is. Alright. This one's for you, old Luke. He probably could have uh, used a couple of cold ones in his exile. <laughs> I bet he would have preferred that than that weird animal's milk. <laughs> Let me jump across a ravine here and milk this weird beast. So, <laughs> the color is a bit, this one's a little darker in color compared to this one. So this one's not quite as blonde as that one. Oh, wait. Palette oh, cleanse. That's right, palette cleanser. <laughs> I 
I feel like I should do the Luke thing, you know, take a drink and be like, ah, the aggressive. Yeah, but he had it like pouring down his beard. Okay. No! <laughs> I don't want to clean that up. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, okay, unexpected. <laughs> wow. I will say, actually, yeah, go for it. That smells... I don't want to be mean and say, but it almost smells rancid. Like it's like, <laughs> like gone bad. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's like a smartier sweet tart. Uh huh. Wow. So, yeah. Totally it does didn't not lie. That. The sour. That doesn't taste like beer at all. So very much probably the smell that kind of gives it like a, a rancid smell is to the you sour in it. because of the sour. Yeah. And it is a sharp, it is a biting yeah. it's sour. It's like every sour candy you ever ate as a child. Yes, like that's exactly what it. I was thinking. It's almost wow. like, yeah, it's like they took um, all of the sour off of a lemon head. That's good. I like sour stuff. <laughs> Woo! Just put it in a towel, wrung it out, and then mixed in the beer. It's... See, now that's a beer I could drink because it doesn't taste like beer. <laughs> it's very good, though. That is good. I it like was just very one. shocking Obviously... because sometimes uh, you read sour and it's like, oh, yeah, sure. Well, all the other ones, I think, said sour, kind of, or I don't know, they were more bitter than sour. And not like bitter beer face, but just like a, like a bitters. Oh, man. I think it we gets saved the too. best for last. It gets you, too, because, I mean, it, it like starts at the front and it just works it its way really all, the, does. all is... the way back on Woo. your taste buds. That's a definitely a fun one. This, that is this a very fun one. is definitely wine that you would want to bust out with a group of friends and have everyone and, try. Yeah, and not tell him about it at all. This, so this one? Is from, this is from Des Moines, Iowa as well. The Beatnik Sour and jumping back to the uh, Milk Stout. The coffee I think, one? Yes. I think those... Yeah, those two are my favorites. I think those are my favorites, and I think those are the most fun... Yeah. To uh, you know, to surprise mm -hmm. people with because of the very ambitious flavors, you know, with one being very coffee driven and then this one being very sour. Yeah. And that's not to say I didn't enjoy the others. Yeah, the other ones were good, because, but I mean they were very beer esque or beer y. Well, know? I really, so, I really liked them because the two that had more of the uh, the grapefruit tinge to them mm -hmm. i really like those because i can so picture and uh, i think it's i think it's robert who uh who likes them on a hot sunny day too that would be a good hot but day, i would love those yeah. on a hot sunny day yeah. you know that's totally the thing it's like after you've mowed the lawn and uh you know you come in you drink your water to be hydrated but then when it's time to sit down and relax that's what i would love yeah. to drink but these, these would be are great very with, fun. With, uh, beer. Uh, <laughs> these would be great with the beer. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I bet pizza. Like I can really see. Because this one with the wheat and the yes. extra hoppy flavor, I think would go really well with the crust. It, yeah, it really and would. And then this one would just be good because it's kind of that sour tartness. It'll overcome the greasiness of the pizza. Nice. These were good. Nice. That was nice. nice. Nice, yes. selection, nice guys. selection, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, guys, again, so what happened was uh, we sent them a little bit of our hometown pride, and they sent some of their favorites our way. Yes. And this was a lot of fun because with a lot of this being from Iowa, yeah. it was stuff that, you know, of course, we don't see in mm -hmm. our area. Yeah. And we love Which trying new things anyway. Kind of a shame. It's like I kind of really wouldn't mind finding some more of the beatnik that's true that you know really we good. we have a couple of specialty shops around town that we may check yeah we and may ask see if, just in yeah. case and uh otherwise you know if if you guys come across some extra bottles and you're like you know what i don't want those go right ahead um <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh nerdlings be sure to check out gaming off the grid yes. of course there are going to be links in the description below not only do they review beers and have excellent taste in beer as well, but they do a lot of very fun game reviews. Yes. And uh, they are very big on, you know, doing the couch co-op, which we absolutely We love. very much endorse couch co-op versus online co-op because it's more fun when you're together with someone in the same room because trash talking is way more fun in person. Yeah, and you know, it's like <laughs> when they're kicking your ass on Mario Kart, it's a lot easier to do one of these oh, than hey, push hey, them. Hey. 
All right, so again, do overs, do overs. I didn't mean to crash. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check out their channel and check out their music as well. I will link to their YouTube channel that has their music because they do their own theme song and they sound awesome. <laughs> and give the video a like if you happen to like trying new things yourself. Leave some comments down below, especially if you've tried any of these beers that you've seen us try. And of course, subscribe, hit yes. that notification <laughs> bell, feel free to share. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures. Let you know what we're doing out about in the real world and to see what video has dropped because sometimes YouTube is really, really mean and they don't share their beers or the fact that a video <laughs> has dropped. So uh, YouTube never shares their beers. They never share their beers, man. And don't forget we've got merchandise over on Tee Public, so get over there and there may be a surprise over there for you. Oh, what could she ever be talking about? I don't know. Bye, nerdlings. See you, nerdlings. Oh, actually, you know what? I tell you what. Instead of bye, nerdlings, how about in honor of gaming off the grid? Keep gaming, keep drinking. Salute. Let it sit, let it be. Burn. Whoa. You may have to fight me for this one. Oh, that is such a fun flavor.